The Bard in Ashes of Creation is one of the eight primary archetypes that we'll be able to set in play. It, this archetype is known in the MMO genre to specialize around supporting the party and providing buffs. But as everything Intrepid does, they have their own spin on how they want this class to play out. And although we haven't seen the Bard in action yet, we actually do know quite a bit about it. But before we get too far into this... I want to talk to you guys about the extra life live stream Intrepid is doing. As you've probably heard, this Saturday Intrepid will be doing their annual 24 hour live stream to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals motorcycle. So in order to help raise even more money for this great cause, I've put together a team of excellent Ashes of Creation content creators to help. Vladis Gaming, Stakeno, Rorier, and Zillin will be joining me under the name of Ashes of Donation to raise money towards this cause. So if you want to donate, the link is in the description below to help us raise as much money as we possibly can. The Bard in Ashes of Creation by all means will be a support class for the game. You won't be out there casting as many heals in comparison to the Cleric though, as this archetype is designed around keeping your raid healthy and alive on the battlefield in other ways, along with Intrepid throwing their own twist in it, because that's what Intrepid does. But the way this class plays will really be depending on what the secondary archetype is you choose. Like all eight primary archetypes, you will be able to combine this with a secondary archetype to customize your character even more and augment your abilities, unlocking eight different bard classes. Those classes being the Magician, the Minstrel, the Siren, the Son Mortar, the Son Caller, the Soul Weaver, the Tell Sword, and the Trickster. The archetype combinations will make each class feel unique in their own way, standing out from each other without losing that core bard feeling. The combinations are meant to augment the existing primary archetype and not replace it, so we really will have to wait until Alpha 2 to figure out how different these augments feel from each other. As a bard, where you stand on the battlefield will be of big importance. The way this class is being designed will need you to be on your toes knowing where on the battlefield you will need to be positioned in connection to the group you are trying to support. But this doesn't mean all you will be doing is buffing your raid. Intrepid aims to make the bard as useful as the other seven archetypes on the battlefield, making them more of a jack of all trades type of archetype. Along with their support abilities, these guys will also have offensive and defensive combat abilities to aid their party on the battlefield. When it comes to buffing, bards will be able to choose to augment tanking, evasion, DPS, and healing abilities among players within their proximity. They will also have buffs tied into the bard's skills as well. The example given was if a bard lands a skill shot against a target, allies within a certain range may be granted a temporary buff that relates to whatever skill the bard used at this time. So really tying the jack of all trades thing together because even when a bard chooses to pick up the sword, he's still going to give support to other players. You won't be a bard without music though as the bard is intended to have musical abilities with flutes and bagpipes and more. Although I doubt these will actually be wieldable weapons, how exactly these work is still up in the air. Intrepid has given very little details on these at all. I'm hoping when wielding this instrument, it won't be as simple as casting a spell, but perhaps tying in a small mini game or something to it, giving you a way to make your buffs stronger or weaker depending on your performance, adding a bit of a skill-based approach to it. Maybe having it be one of those buffs that greatly increases your damage and speed while the song is playing, but have a hefty cool down with it so it's not too overpowered. I think if done right, this would be a really fun dynamic as you strum a tune for your party, keeping them alive while they're taking on that boss and also listening to some pretty cool music. Unfortunately though, I think the bard is probably going to be the very last archetype that we get to see in the game. Although he is said to be in Alpha 2, we know the next combat reveal is going to be taking us back to the cleric support role, giving us an updated look at this Alpha 1 class. The bard on the other hand is one of those classes that is probably going to take a lot more effort when it comes to getting down right for the players to actually enjoy so it's probably something that we'll see a bit down the road and i honestly wouldn't be surprised if it's not even in the launch of alpha 2 and something they add further into testing what is your thought on the bard and everything we know about it in ashes of creation let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to ashes of creation and have yet to create an account feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums buy some cosmetics or just hang out until ashes of creation finally comes out there's also the extra life donation link in the description and the comments below and just think if every subscriber donated one dollar we would blow our goal way out of the water otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.